extreme tidal forces from a neutron star tear Earth apart, causing massive destruction all over the planet. Gravitational attraction alters the orbits of other celestial bodies in our solar system and directs thousands of asteroids towards our planet. But that's not all. The apocalypse is just beginning. So, what would happen if a neutron star approached Earth? This question may seem like science fiction, but as the famous astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson once said, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Neutron stars are some of the most extreme and captivating objects in the universe, and their impact on our planet could be catastrophic. That's why scientists are so intrigued by them. But first, let's understand what neutron stars are. Neutron stars are super dense remnants of massive stars that have exploded in supernovas. They consist mainly of neutrons, neutral particles that make up the majority of an atomic nucleus. When a massive star explodes, its outer layers expand, creating a beautiful remnant, which is a neutron star in this case. Unlike other celestial bodies, these cosmic objects have a unique structure, with a neutron core covered by a thin crust of electrons and atomic nuclei. Despite their greater mass compared to the Sun, neutron stars have relatively modest sizes, usually with a radius of about 12 miles. Unfortunately, they are not always easy to detect. However, our galaxy hosts a significant number of them, around 100 million, while the Milky Way and the Magellanic Clouds alone have about 2,000 neutron stars known as pulsars. These are neutron stars that emit beams of electromagnetic radiation due to rapid rotation. Most neutron stars are old and cold, making them difficult to detect even with modern telescopes. The nearest known neutron star is 1RXSJ141256.0 plus 7.92004, or Calvera, located in the constellation Ursa Minor. It became the eighth discovered and closest to Earth. The seven isolated neutron stars discovered earlier are known as the Magnificent Seven. That's why Calvera got its nickname, named after a character from the movie The Magnificent Seven. Moreover, it's one of the few isolated neutron stars without associated supernova remnants, binary companions, or radio pulsations. And now, one of these neutron stars has started to approach Earth. What will happen? How will it affect Earth and other planets? The biggest danger it poses to us is its immense weight, exceeding that of Earth by more than 300,000 times. Due to its enormous mass and gravity, the neutron star can disrupt the orbits of all celestial objects. Asteroids, planets, everything will deviate from their orbits. Chaos will ensue, and collisions between them will be inevitable. For instance, Earth could leave the habitable zone. A new ice age? A sudden drop in temperature would lead to global cooling, similar to an ice age but with more severe conditions. However, the problem isn't just the cold. We could move very far from the sun. However, the problem isn't just the cold. We could move so far from the sun that daylight becomes a distant memory. In fact, many organisms, including humans living on Earth, would likely perish. But if our planet's trajectory is directed towards the sun, the consequences will be diametrically opposite. As a result of this approach, global warming, or in other words, a typical doomsday scenario will occur. Due to the rapid temperature rise, a total drought will begin, leading to the mass death of animals and numerous areas being ravaged by wild furies. Extensive glacier melting will occur, initially causing a reason sea levels. But due to the heat, the oceans will begin to evaporate. The speed of these events depends on how close Earth comes to the sun it's possible that generations of humans will have to adapt and contend with weather anomalies. But it's also possible that the sun will quickly scorch our planet, turning it into an uninhabitable sphere at best. Remember, we mentioned that the orbits and trajectories of all celestial objects would change? Well, this could trigger a bombardment of Earth by thousands of asteroids. I believe you've seen my other videos on the topic of asteroids and I doubt anyone would want to be at the epicenter of such a meteorite shower 
or a collision with a large celestial object. These impacts wouldn't just be powerful explosions destroying all life within their shockwave radius. Asteroid impacts could trigger volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and other massive destruction. For example, if an asteroid the size of Mount Everest slammed into Earth at high speed, it could create a crater hundreds of miles wide and release enough energy to wipe out most forms of life. But that's not all. Assuming people are still alive, do you think that's the end of it? Far from it. Neutron stars possess extreme gravity. Due to their intense gravitational pull, their surface is astonishingly smooth. According to some scientists, if these cosmic bodies were suitable for life, there would exist only two dimensions. Furthermore, neutron stars are highly magnetized objects, housing the most powerful magnets in the universe, with field magnitudes exceeding those of Earth's by millions of times. To completely dissolve and vanish due to their formidable magnetic force, a person would need to approach within just a thousand miles. Quite an epic way to disappear, wouldn't you agree? This is teed to the influence of the magnetic field on the sequence of chemically bound atoms that make up the human body. If a neutron star were to get too close to Earth, all objects on it would become deformat. They would stretch both horizontally and vertically, resembling spaghetti. Yes, you understood that correctly. This is similar to the effect of black holes on objects. So, this cosmic behemoth would then simply engulf the planet. By the way, a similar fate awaits the moon. Living under conditions where everything around you is stretched into strings by gravity is probably impossible. What do you think? However, it's more likely that our planet will simply be torn apart. Or perhaps, the star will strip the planet of its atmospheric shell. Either way, the annihilation of all life will be instantaneous. Neutron stars have magnetic fields millions of times stronger than Earth's. By the way, a magnetar has a magnetic field a thousand times stronger than a pulsar. So, any sudden change in the direction of these magnetic fields triggers bursts of energy, similar to solar flares but many times more powerful. Since there is a connection between the magnetic fields and the outer shell of a neutron star, even the slightest cracking of this celestial body surface causes a powerful shake. In other words, it results in a burst of intense radiation and all the ensuing consequences. One example of a magnet ire burst reaching Earth occurred with SGR 1806-20 in 2004. The distance from our planet to this neutron star is about 50,000 light years. So, it emitted a colossal burst of gamma ray radiation equivalent to 300,000 years of the sun's energy production in just 0.2 seconds. It was the most powerful burst in the last 400 years. As a result of the gamma ray radiation's impact on Earth's ionosphere, nighttime ionization levels became equivalent to daytime levels. Fortunately, it was far enough from Earth not to cause any harm. However, if this neutron star had been at a distance of 10 light years from us, a genuine catastrophe would have occurred. Such a burst would have led to the complete destruction of the ozone layer. In terms of power, these gamma ray bursts are comparable to a 12 kiloton nuclear explosion. Just imagine what would happen to Earth if it collided with a neutron star, one that was roaming through the expanse of the solar system. Our planet, like all, would cease to exist. In reality, much depends on the weight of the neutron star. With a small mass of this celestial body, the solar system would suffer less. Consequently, the heavier the star, the more dire the consequences. For example, the heaviest one would easily devour all objects in the solar system, including the sun. However, there's a theory that it could merge with the sun, forming a binary system. This would fundamentally change the dynamics of the solar system and the appearance of the sky. But they wouldn't function as a unified whole. Due to its power, the star would steal hydrogen fuel from the sun. How this would affect our planet is difficult to say. Presumably, it would lead to a hotter climate, double sunsets, 
intensified ultraviolet radiation, and frequent solar flares. Two sunsets and perpetual warmth might seem appealing, but alas, adapting to such conditions would be extremely challenging. As you can see, the approach of a neutron star to Earth can trigger numerous catastrophic scenarios. They have the potential to obliterate entire systems and completely eradicate life as we know it. Nevertheless, they also offer a multitude of captivating insights into space, shedding light on the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. I hope you enjoyed this video. So, please make the YouTube algorithms happy with your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We have plenty more exciting content in store for you.